What is up YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is July 25th of 2022. I am here in Bucks County today. Locals may know where I'm at by some of the surroundings you'll see in the video. But today we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing pretty much everywhere around here. We're going to try and get in as much fishing as I can. We do have a high chance for storms later in the day but it's not supposed to start up around two or so. It's about seven, almost 7.30 in the morning right now. So we're gonna see what we can get going here. We're gonna start off on the main lake here. And uh, there's also a creek behind me that we can fish as well as some runs that are near here. All in within walking distance, I believe. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off on the lake here. See what we can make happen. Gonna go after some bass i think there might be pickerel in here too not 100 percent sure um but i got tied on a little swim bait here i saw a dead shad along the bank so this will kind of imitate a shad here and we're just going to cast this around the shallow areas that we can reach here and hopefully that there is still some bass or pickerel looking for a morning snack and if this doesn't work out, then we'll move over to the creek, probably throw around the trout magnet and some other things. Um, but we're just gonna do cast and retrieve around the lake here. This is the six foot six um, St. Croix Triumph rod. It's a medium heavy rod. And I got my Pen um, 4000 Fierce 2 on there with 12 pound monofilament line. And this is what we're going to be using out on the lake here. I do have my ultralight with me, the, the uh, Ugly Stick Elite. And that is what we'll be using once we hit the creek. Um, but for now, this is what we're going to be using today. So we're just going to cast around here, see if anything's looking to bite. Going to move around the lake a bit. Yeah, we'll see what comes up possibly some new species that might show up when we fish the creek so that's what our goal is going to be today to try and find those before the rain comes so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned and hopefully we can get on some good fish today all right guys so far one thing i am noticing about this place is that it is very shallow um, along the banks here and they don't want you waiting this place so i can't really walk out there if i could i would um, but there is a bridge that I see directly across from me on the other side of the lake. I'm going to try and go over there. It's probably a little bit deeper over there. And we're going to try and fish off of that. If that doesn't work, we'll probably hit the creek because up this way it doesn't look like there's too many access points. Um, I think the next time I come here I'll bring my kayak because it will definitely be easier to kayak fish in here. It's uh, like a small smaller lake but I like the way it looks it looks like it could hold some decent fish in here so next time we'll definitely be bringing the kayak when we come here but yeah let's begin our trek over to that bridge and we'll fish from there for a bit guys there is lots of shiners in front of me there I might try and catch one of those guys and maybe throw them on the hook for a for a nice bass there's a bunch of them down there so if that's what they're feeding on then I might be able to catch one of these bass by live lighting one of those shiners but we gotta catch them first there you go guys got a fish on here look at the size of this bluegill came up with some fishing line that is a good bluegill right there it's got some line tangled on them just gonna go ahead and get that off unhook this guy we're gonna take a shot and then we're gonna lease this guy too big to use this guy for bait all right guys just got a shot of our nice little bluegill there too big to use for bait I don't even know if there's bass in here big enough to eat this thing but we're just gonna send him back on his way and he is good to go casting the trout magnet right along the pilings of this little fishing pier here. The shiners disappeared. I was gonna try and tie on a Tanago hook and maybe catch a few of them, but they disappeared on me. 
So we're going to see if we can catch a smaller bluegill or a smaller green sunfish and try and use that to live line. Had another one looking at it. This wind is making it tough to fish, but we'll get through it. If it gets worse, we'll just go down to the creek and fish that. There's a bunch of sunfish stocked up under this little dock here. Alright guys, I got one of the shiners here. We're going to try and identify this guy first. I believe that is a spot in the shiner. Don't let him slip through the cracks there. Pretty little guy. Now unfortunately he's going to get tossed out on a hook. And hopefully he's going to catch us something. Alright guys, so I hooked those spot fin shiner right through the mouth. I have it just sitting there kind of drifting out in front of the little pier here. And we're going to see if anything takes it. If not, then we're probably going to head over to the creek and fish that for a little bit. Because I want to try and get that in before the storms come. It is weightable, so we'll throw on our slide, excuse me, slides, and we'll get in there. But right now we're gonna wait for something to hopefully take the shiner. All right, guys, doing a little micro fishing in the back creek here. I think I just got my third species of the day, a juvenile red breast sunfish, I believe. You can see it's got the longer opercular flap there. Little tiny guy, but we're gonna take a shot and release him. Alright guys, just got myself a little shiner here. Gonna take a shot of him and then I'm gonna let him go. I believe this is a swallowtail shiner. But I'm gonna take a shot just to confirm that. There he is. Alright. Well, there he is. Last look at our little shiner there. He does not want to cooperate for the camera. There he is. We're just gonna drop him back in the water here and send him on his way. I've been using the same piece of worm all morning. I've been lucky enough that none of these fish have stolen it yet. This is my only piece of worm I have. This area here is very dry, so I haven't found any worms. These are actually worms I was using from a trip over a week ago at this point. We're not at the spot yet that's supposed to have this new species for me, but We'll hopefully get there eventually. I'm gonna quick see if I can get another one of those shiners just to have another sample for photos. Certain fish may vary from features and genetics and stuff like that. So I like to try and collect multiple samples from the same school just to have different shots. And I just got this little guy here. Same species of fish came from the same school, but we're just going to take another shot of this guy, just to have that uh, difference. But I believe these are swallowtail shiners. Oh, and he just got off the hook, so we'll have to catch another one. But these guys have been very willing biters, so shouldn't be too hard. Guys, a bit of an unexpected catch, but if you remember, I caught my lifer golden shiner in the last video. And I believe this is another one here. I don't know anything else that looks like that in the area, but we'll take a shot of this guy and let him go. Alright guys, there's a little golden shiner there. He's going to just go back in the water here. Let's see what else this creek has to offer. This one might be a little bit different here guys. I think this is a spot tail shiner or it's either that or a big swallowtail shiner but we'll take a shot and release this guy that's the biggest one we caught yet all right guys haven't had much in this back creek but we're approaching the run that we wanted to fish just call a little bluegill here on the trout magnet in the meantime nice little guy we're going to send him back on his way not quite as big as the first one we caught today when we were fishing the main lake but out in this 
or backwater creek area. These fish probably almost never get fished for. So the fish bite fairly easily if you can find fishable water. Nice little backwater red breast here. Pretty little guy. Look how bright the orange is on that guy. Beautiful fish. Take a shot of this one since his colors are so cool and then we're gonna release him. All right, red breast going back in the water here. Came right off that log that's to our left. I'm using a little purple trout magnet there. Got another one coming up here, guys. Another pretty red breast sunfish. Let me pluck the bail out a little bit. There he is. Just a little guy. They're all stacked up over here around this log. Cast over there. And this one looking at it. That's a smaller one though. I don't think I'll be able to take it. Oh, there was one. Popped off. Bluegill is nibbling at it. Let's keep making our way up the creek here. Real shallow. Nice little hole right here beneath this down tree. I give a little cast in there and see if something comes up. Apologies for all the noise, it's a little loud next to the highway here. I think after I hit this hole I might walk back and move my car closer to where the spot I want to fish. Um, otherwise it's going to be a real long walk back. And no one likes a real long walk back. Lots of fish in this hole. Small though. Oh, that was something. There's one. There we go. Really nice little red breast. Gently flip it in there. You don't even have to really bring the rod back too much. Nice little stick there. fish on but he wrapped me around the tree. That should be one. Bit of a change of plans or change in plans. We are now at the Delaware Canal. This is not the spot I was going to try and fish. I was gonna try and fish a small run that supposedly had a new species for me or what would have been a new species for me, the redfin pickerel. But instead we are at the Delaware Canal now and we are gonna try and target some bass and pickerel with the last bit of fishing for the day. The only problem is it's about 12, 12.30 in the afternoon. The bite's usually slow at this time. 
water is low, which is another thing that's not exactly favorable. But we're gonna be a little bit more finesse. We got a wacky rig Sanko on there right now. And basically what we wanna be doing is casting around any sort of vegetation or overhanging tree limbs and see if there's any pickerel or bass around. Be nice if we could catch some chain pickerel because I haven't caught pickerel in who knows how long. Actually, it's been since uh, I've been up to Lake Cayuga to fish a fishing tournament. Haven't caught one since then. So been a while. So hopefully we can get one casting around today. But we'll see how the day goes. Well, unfortunately, we could not come up with a surprise pickerel or bass here at the end. I knew it was going to be tough. I saw a few pickerel, only two of them were like decent size, but they just weren't biting. But I don't blame them. It's about middle of the day right now. It's one o'clock. And after we've had the heat wave all of last week and the beginning of this week, they're probably not too eager to bite right now. So unfortunately that is going to do it for today's episode. I will be back in this area sometime in the future to try and catch my target species for the day, which we did not get into. It has a big old carp that's sitting right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's swimming off that way. But yeah, the, my target species for the day, we didn't even get access to the spot that had it. I could have trekked into the woods, but I don't know if I would have found success back there or not. It looked really overgrown and thick, and the stream itself was not very wide in that particular section that I thought may have this species that I wanted to catch. But like I said, we'll be back. But not a bad day overall, at least multi-species wise. We caught bluegill, red breast sunfish, and then we got some, I believe, swallowtail shiners, I think a spot tail shiner, a golden shiner, spot fin shiner, and I think that is about it. I don't think we caught anything else. So not bad, but yeah, we'll have to do it again sometime with hopefully more success. Need to go after some bigger fish. I haven't ran into any big fish all summer long. I've tried, but each time, no bites. So that is going to do it for today. I will see you guys on the next episode of The Ville Outdoors.